you all know that I don't BS you. I will never do that. I have never done that. And uh, that's just what it is. So these are not inflated numbers. This car, my car, Project Carnage, made dumb, dumb power. And I want you guys to definitely watch through the entirety if you can make it. It is a lengthy video. I did. Not, I, I tried to keep as much in it as possible. Um, but I need your help to dissect this video and see if these are real numbers, what is going on. Uh, definitely, definitely let me know. Grab your, your popcorn, your drink, all that stuff, and then try to stick with it if you can. Uh, before we jump to the video, I do want to show you something over here on the paper. All right, so when you watch this video, just keep in mind this. The very next car that came on the dyno after me was a stock 2016 Mustang GT. It made 396 horsepower. There's a stock Hellcat. They made 643, and that's a good number because when I had my Hellcat, it made 661, and all it had was a JLT intake. Then there's also a Whipple GT, a red one, that is shown in the video. His original dyno with the Whipple was 744. Today, it made 732. So these numbers are all legit. So are mine because what you're about to watch in this video is some crazy mad science. And I mean crazy, like in the in the sense that I have a factory freak possible Mustang GT 2019. So I just want to be straight up with all you guys. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and you've got to hit the notification bell because subscriptions these days don't really mean a whole lot unless you're hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any videos because we upload quite a bit. Um, definitely give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever you prefer. Um, that way it tells YouTube that they need to spread this so we can get this information out there. You know, do factory freaks exist? Maybe I might have one. Let's go find out. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here at 412 Dino Shop and we're going to put, you see the hat here? We're going to put Carnage behind me on the dyno for the first time, and this is a Mustang dyno, It's correct? a Mustang dyno, MD 1100. It does have an uh, eddy current brake, so pretty true numbers. We're gonna put a load on it, just like driving down the road. Cool, cool. So today is a day, told you guys, we want, do wanna put this thing on the track, that's coming soon, but we wanna get a baseline dyno, see what this thing actually makes. I have a pretty good idea. I think if we get anything close on a Mustang dyno above like 410, we'll probably, uh, be pretty good there so I'm shooting for more than 410 for more than 410 i think so we'll, well see we shall see yep all right so keep watching it's gonna be fun all right guys so if you are new to this channel we do have my car a 2019 mustang gt performance package it is a 10r80 car right in front of me and we call this project carnage so we are completely stock other than an x pipe at this point with the active exhaust and then uh, that's pretty much it. So before we do any power mods, any track time, any of that stuff, we wanted to put this thing in the dyno and see what kind of power it's gonna make just so we have that good baseline because I think that that is going to be important, especially as we see this car grow. So very, very exciting. Uh, this car is gonna be up on the dyno next. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to it. So again, we are at 412 Dino Shop. There is information right there on the back of his shirt. And I'm going to link all of this again down in the description so you know where to find these guys. So we do also have a big crowd here. You see all of these cars and they go all the way down there. So you got the Chevy guys too. We are up here with some other YouTubers. One of them is right in front of us. What's going on, guys? You guys recognize him? Speed Addict 731, guys. If you don't know who I am, go check me out. Yeah, definitely do that. So this is your car. Yes. It's a 2017 California Special with the Roush uh, Phase 2 Supercharger kit on it, which has the 80 millimeter uh, pulley. Got the JLT oil separator. Uh, only other thing done to the car is, of course, wheels and uh, Corsa Stream uh, cat back. It is tuned by uh, Winger Motorsports. Uh, sorry about that. Winger Performance. Uh, Daryl Winger uh, tuned it. And it, on the Roush tune, it put down 611 to the wheel. On his tune, it put down 678, the same exact day, on the same exact dyno. That's a big difference. Yes. And I picked up over four mile an hour in the eighth mile. That's good. So uh, it's running uh, 690s right now at 101 to 102. Awesome. So definitely go check out his build. It's coming a long way. And he races this car, which is something we're going to start doing on this channel a lot more too. So definitely encourage you to go check him out if you have not done so already. 
What's up? You want to introduce okay, yourself? Eric Small. Eric Small. It's 2018 <laughs> Mustang. The Whipple. Um, Sizemore 78 on Instagram. Sizemore 78. And you have long tubes with this car as well, Catless, correct? Yeah. So You're fine. That out. American Racing Headers, long tubes, no cats. Uh, and the Whipple uh, Stage 2, um, 3.8 pulley, and dynode 744 to the wheels. 744. Like 560 torque. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. You still want me to get a twin turbo? Whipple, Vortec. And it still drives great as a daily driver. Yeah. It's not out of control. You don't barely touch the throttle. And it doesn't want to go in a ditch, just barely touching the throttle. So it's, it drives normal. That is a big concern of mine is like the, the streetability because it's, you know, it's a, it's a right. daily driven car. So right. I don't want anything that's going to be, sure. I mean, not that I couldn't handle it or anybody that couldn't, right. you know what I mean? But uh, I don't want anything to break, sure. if you will. So I think you'd be good either way, Vortec or Whipple. I think they'll both be equally reliable. I don't right. think one's going to be less reliable than the other. Yeah, and they all make you know similar powers. Just how right. they deliver it is, right. is all a little different. Sure. You know. Yeah, because they're going to run the same four mile times probably. It's kind of like boost, uh, boost for boost. Yeah, what, what flavor of ice cream do you like better? You know. Right. So yeah. different varieties, but it's all ice cream at the end of the day. So it's all boost. Yeah. It's all power. So I'm just putting it in. It's, it's calibrated, and I'm putting in the weight of the car. And and running it so yeah it's good it's good to have on camera because a lot of people freak out over dyno videos yeah you know they I mean? do i mean there's yeah uh, everybody thinks you know now they're doing this they're doing that to make the numbers go yeah but, I'll turn the load control off. <laughs> <laughs> basically all he does all he does is puts in the uh year and everything like that it puts in the weight the load and then whatever the car puts down is what the car puts down yeah i mean absolutely. no it's got a he does have a weather box right there so uh, it, for the SAE numbers. Yep. So whatever it puts down, it puts down. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we're on the dyno, and this is something that you're going to need to do to turn your... You can go in there and turn all your trash control and everything off, or you can just simply come in here, and then you pop this plug here by your air box, and that will disable it completely for these new cars. I'm going to go grab uh, one of some straps from the front. Electronic suspension reader? Yeah, it's got magnetic rod. Okay, that's what that thing is. I'm gonna make sure I don't get on it at all. I think that'll be good. This is going to be his first 10 already dyno. I know people dyno on the 7th, but this thing is going to hit its speed limiter. Yeah, so that's something that we're over here talking about is we're going to dyno in 7th gear. For you guys that don't know, that is your one-to-one -one with a 10 already car. Now, what's being discussed right now is that per the computer, it may actually, we may hit the, the limiter since it's a stock tune, stock car and then uh, we won't get the full benefit. So we'll do a seventh gear pull, see what it does. We've got all the trash control and all that turned off. Put in track mode, we'll do all of that. And then uh, I'm gonna put it in the uh, S mode and then go up through the gears and then start my pull. And, and then if uh, all goes well, you know, we'll rock with it. If it doesn't, we'll try it in six gear and see what it does. Picking up a two grand, we're trying to get rid of the torque or the torque spike or whatever you want to call it. So I'm uh I'm ready whenever you are. And when you're done, let off the gas, just put it in neutral. This will automatically start breaking once it hits uh, 7,500 RPMs. Yep. Right. Transmission. <laughs> 
real. That's not real. That's, that's not real. 400 that's not it. <laughs> hey, if you could film it, it didn't happen, right? Yeah, right. So it's on camera. It's on, it's on no. internet. It's true. Uh, that was in the car. Uh, we're going to use the paddle shifts only. I tried to do something different and it uh, failed. So we're trying to get it right this time. Ain't no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll tell you in just a second. You got up to that's engine speed. 152 and a half, according to the dyno. And 441. I don't know. I've got it in. It's 4,250 4, pounds. <laughs> Simulated inertia's on and vehicle simulation's on. I, I don't know. Is that correct? Is that on speed? Is that Yeah, it almost had a big enough snap. It should go and that load, it's almost the same as going out on the road and. and Lowering it at 2,000 RPMs instead of gear, it's going to take, take a while. forever to get up there. And so you can get good tuning out of though. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, but I mean, it, it flatlined right here and just was holding flat. I think that's about where. Yeah. How long did it sit at the? How long did it sit there and, and limit you on the like going picking up RPM? How long did it sit? Yeah, it took a couple of seconds. It was going and it was taking forever uh -huh. from the 1800 all the way up to what it cut fuel at, or hit, or not cut fuel, but hit the limiter. Um, that was a long hole. Yeah. And that was like 15 seconds or more. Yeah. Um, but it sat still, and it, towards the end of it, just picked up like a, a mile an hour, and then another one, and then another one, and then it quit. And then, you know, you guys are like, just killed me. Yeah. So I don't know. The car should be making four, I would say 410 to 420. I've seen, I've seen some put down 430. On a 10 already? Well, the, 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 you get different numbers all throughout. The 18 Mustang I had was a stick shift car yeah. with the X5. Same as this, and it made 431. Yes. And it me to get around. I can't remember the torque, but it was whatever. But, yeah, it's definitely not 480. Yeah. No, no, we know that. Uh, we don't awesome. know. We don't know if that's, uh, that's gonna, I'm gonna clickbait this video. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't Mustang know. Stock Mustang GT 2019, a 480 horsepower, yeah. no mods. <laughs> that one made 460. That that run 460. right there, 460 corrected. Um, I'm thinking that when it stayed when it stayed in that upper arpit when it was doing its thing, it did something there. I'm not sure. I've never seen that. No. And you had it in seventh gear, right? Seventh gear. Okay. I don't know what that happened. Because the uh, the other cars they died on today, all the numbers have been legit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just it's like the something's going on with this one. Um, I've seen some people do the six gear, but it don't you don't really get accurate numbers. Right. Well, we may try. It. I mean, you want to do seven again? I mean, that's the one to one, so it's still doing the same thing. You're getting your rev limiter. You want to take it up higher, start out at higher RPM? We can do that. I mean, you're I mean, that that way, work at 4,600, so there's no point in starting it. Two yeah, grand. no, we usually, usually start, start at three grand. That's not going to change. The no, no, it's not going to change the numbers at all. Basically, you start at two grand for tuning purposes, but we're not tuning today. Right. If you want to do that, we can. And the numbers, I mean, it's not the one to one Yeah, it'll be close. That's what a lot of people do. I mean, this is all. Yeah. I mean, we've tried. 
Yeah, because a lot of people do the, the six gear to keep from hitting the speed limiter. And they, that's what most people numbers come off of until they get tuned. And then... It's your call. I'd say do 3,000 and 7. You want to do 7th again since we already have the... That's what I we would do. We already have the attack the 7th and 7th gear. All right. Because it's not going to skew the numbers. Don't run it out to uh, 7,500 this time. Let's stop it. Uh, you never even got yeah, your speed limit. Your speed limit hit before you got there. So I think doing it. Six, I think honestly, think six gear would be our for for the factory tune with the with the governor the speed limiter. What RPM did you get to when the speed limiter kicked in? About sixty five. Sixty five. Sixty five hundred. I really think. Maybe he can get the 75 before it gets to Well, no, no, no. When I try watching a dyno when I'm making a pull, if I see the power start driving, there's no real reason to keep pulling past that. But he, he might have been losing power because... He only had 152 again. Yep. So 459, 446, still. Still 459? Yeah. Same RPM, 6500. Wow. They had a torque spike on that. It's higher than the real number. So this real torque was about. 436 versus 436 torque 440. But yeah, I mean, he's flatlining right here at 5800 for the last few seconds of run. So it starts struggling to pick up RPMs right there. So I think six gear. You can hear it, it gets that point. Yeah, you can. It's done here on that limiter. Okay, let's, let's do it. So Go ahead and get it in six gear and, and tell me when you're at 2,000 RPMs. Alright guys, we're going to make another pull over for the Alright, so, so keep it, keep it, keep it, keep six gear, we're going to start at about 1,800, I guess, for this next board. Uh, so okay, and then, so the numbers might be whatever, but we can at least hit the, the you know, the 7,500 RPM. We'll just see what happens. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we're I don't know what we're doing wrong. I don't know what happened that time, but we got to 119 and it just fell in his face. Yeah, just did, just Are you sure your rev limiter's not set it? On the street, I can shift all the way out. It'll, it'll shift itself at 75. Definitely made a bit more power at, uh, in, in the one to one gear. But I mean, you're still just getting to the same RPM and, and, and falling on its face in both gears. Right at 5,700 RPMs. I have no idea. But it's not doing it on the street. No, no. It, it On the street, it'll shift all the way 75 and it'll upshift the next gear. Because then your ABS is, up, is, is unplugged. ABS is unplugged. I've your got it in. Traction controls off. Traction control inside of the car. Anything else causing this. Yeah. Unless you, uh, your pad over temp or something's kicking in and. I have no idea. But it shouldn't kick in the exact same RPMs each time because it's a right. certain temperature it gets to. Well, I mean, that's the good thing. We have this on video, though, because people will be able to help us out. Um, I don't know if I'm getting a good reading on the air fuel ratio or not. Let me see what it is. If it goes really rich there at the end, that'll tell us that your cat over temp kicked in because it dumps fuel in there to cool the cat off. Did your exhaust come out of both of these tail pipes? In track mode, it opens all the way up. Right, so I put it on the one that ain't got the opening. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm not picking up any. I'm not picking up any fuel at all. I mean, it's flatlined it. Out. Yeah. Did it, um, did it just shut off? Did it feel like it hit like a limiter or something? Kind yeah, of it's hitting it's hitting a mile an hour in both gears, and then it quits. It wasn't my iron to hit. 152? Actually, it's at the same RPM on both yeah, gears. Same so RPM? Speed, but at, at yeah, 60, 
And he says he doesn't do it on the street. He but says it, he doesn't do it on the street. On the street, he's got like 75. No, it's it's not it's car. They all yeah, RPMs. Yeah. It's just flatlining. Yeah. And then you see the torque yeah. just drops. Yeah, we got it all on the car. Uh, do you know? Do you know what they're dynoing these things at? It's an auto. It's a 10 R80. Yeah, that that's what they use to run around. He's got on a little high, and we're trying to we're trying to get it. Um, we're trying to get the actual uh, legit pull on it to see exactly what's going on. So you're seeing. So I'm talking to the general on the phone. Yeah. And he's saying that he has seen 430 to 460 on these cars. Stop. To 460. Yeah, he said it just depends on the dyno and where you're at. But he has seen 430 to 460 on the dyno. Sometimes they might read less, sometimes they might read more, just depending on the dyno. But uh, what we're, we're, we can't even run the car out to 7400, 7, stopping us. And I know I watched a couple videos a while back, and they were pulling, not pulling in the one-to-one, -one so they can get a full-out run on the dyno. And I didn't know if you knew the RPM, the, the gear they're running on. We tried down one, and we still hit the limiter. Uh-huh. Yeah, I understand that. The guess it would put down if you was here? Uh, I would have guessed 440. This is about what I would have guessed to put down. So putting down 450 wouldn't surprise you at all? No, absolutely not. Okay. That's what we were wondering. We were wondering if something was off with going on down. Because all the other cars we've seen put on here today had been right on the money of uh, yeah. they, where they should be. Yeah, but now those 18, those 18, they're not 18. They're surprising, that's for sure. Yeah. I think they're... Uh, very underrated from the factory in my eyes because yeah, sure. when I've, I've been in them and I just feel like they're underrated but uh okay then I appreciate it Daryl yeah, no alright yeah that's what he was saying he was saying usually they put down 430 to he's he seen some put down 460 to the wheel you know and I remember seeing videos on those when they first come out that they would put down 430 to 460 I'm afraid to tell people that, though. You know what I mean? Well, I, I mean, I mean, that's my being my shop. I do not want anybody acting like I'm trying to boost numbers on Ford yeah. or any car. So period. it's important. So listen, guys, this video is going to go out, but this is not on these guys because he, they've he's been doing other cars this morning. So I'm like the third or fourth car, and they've all been accurate as can be. So we have they have none of this has been happening. So this is something going on with my car. You guys can chime in here, figure it, you know, critique this video. Um, it's definitely not the shop. It's not the dyno. It's the car because it's cutting, you know, it's cutting out before 7,500 RPM. We don't know why it's doing it. It's giving a really high number, um, you know, that around that 450, 460 horsepower range. You know, that is, these are corrected numbers, correct? These are 451 is the corrected number. That's SAE corrections and 425 torque. So 451 horsepower, 425 torque. Like that said, Daryl said he's seen them uh, dyno 430 to 460 stock across, you know, everywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, he Yeah, did, my 18 did 431. It was a yeah, six-speed. Yeah, and he said that, uh, he told me when I, was, when I was on the phone with him, he said that uh, typically he sees 430 to 460. He said if he'd have been here, he'd have expected 440. So, what, you guys, what Speed Addict is actually talking about here is we are at 412 Dino Shop. He's been on the phone with a different tuner, mm -hmm. not just a dyno guy, but a tuner for these cars. And this is coming out of, out of that guy's mouth. So, um, yeah, again, critique the video. I'm not going to be the guy to come on here. We're continuing to talk and the camera quit. So we were talking about we have these dyno readings at this horsepower corrected. We have the car um, doing what it's doing at the end of the gear. This is nothing against 412. They're doing everything that they're supposed I to do. I want to point out, we do have the vehicle weight in at 4250. Simulated inertia on, vehicle simulation is on. So we are using the, the eddy brake. We're not just doing inertia pulls, trying to inflate any numbers or anything like that. Yeah, and this. it's a Mustang Dyno. I don't think mine reads low like other people's, but they are supposed to read lower than dyno jet but i think mine's pretty accurate with a dyno jet right but yeah and the, you know the thing the main thing to look at this guys is that um you know we have seen 430 to 460 i remember when they first come out you know i would see 450 460 horsepower numbers come out you know I, it was like a regular thing happening um like i said it's hard to say but you know, like the tuner said, he said he's seen 430 to 460 out of these things stock, so... I've uh, never seen that, but, again, you know, I don't do this for a living, 
So, comment away. Uh, hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button, whichever you prefer. Let's spread this video so we can get some answers on what it's doing. But, I mean, you I'm have... Not sure what, what you put out there at... I don't... See, that's the big thing. Why is it cutting right there? In in both gears, 7th and 6th. So... RPM. Yeah, and it's at that RPM. I don't... I don't... I don't know. Let me know. I'm uneducated. So please educate me on this. But... We'll figure it out, and then we'll just come back and do it again. You know what I mean? No, this is not going to be one of those videos where we're just going to post a bunch of BS numbers and stuff. Um, you know, we've been having to, we've got the camera rolling, so you guys can get the full experience. And uh, uh, so yeah, it looks like it's it's picking up power before it cuts. Yeah, I don't know what what's going on there. That right there That's seems like something's number. going on. Four thirty. Yes. Like that number right well, it, there. It flatline. I mean, it is still climbing. It don't yeah. flatline like that for no reason. And I'm saying. Right. Here's what I'm looking at right here. The 430 is where I would think the car would actually really be. Yes. You look. You got. You got a. I, I call it a. Something's happening right here because your torque just fell and this was climbing. It fell off. Pick back up. That picked back up and then right here and there it just fell off again. So I mean, there's there's two there's two different. different things happening there that you know a tune will clear all that stuff up for and sure. If I had to say right there where it come up and then went over. You know, it's hard. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, my car, when we had it on the dyno, it just went all the way to the RPM until we let off, and it just, you know, yeah. didn't, didn't do anything funny. So, yeah, my car didn't do anything funny either. But I also have my. Well, we both have six R eighties. Right. Well, this shut R80s. off, but at mm -hmm. the same RPM, but not at a certain speed. So I don't think it has anything to do with this speed limiter. No. Yeah. Both both pulls, it, it fell on its face at the same RPM. But, 65, The only thing that I see is the weight. I don't think the car weighs 4250 in my eyes. You but it weighs I mean, less, but I'm talking about the gas in it, the driver, everything. Yeah, I weigh 185. So, yeah, that, that would be right three, around 4250. Three, 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 four of gas. We put yours 37 or something? No, we put mine up to uh, the weight of the car plus me. The weight of the car is 3780, and I weigh 200, so 3980. 